hi developer so in last part we created a static ui for search page and now we will make it dynamic through api that is the static content for now and uh, after integrating the ui and at the last of this video you will find there uh, we have a, a dynamic data right so what we need to do for that let's start with the points of this video first of all we have to get the query uh, param from url you can see that uh, whatever we are searching we are just passing inside the uh, query param from home page and uh, on a search page we have to get it inside the code so that we can get the result behalf of on that uh, query param let me show you so let's say i am on a home page right now and nothing is searched here so if i'm just searching something here let's say laptop so once i just click on the search button we are redirected to the uh, search page and uh, we just pass this laptop keyword as a dynamic or uh, you can say that as a query parameter so we need to get it inside the code so that we can hit api on the behalf of that keyword right all right so after that uh, we will just uh, fetch the data from uh, product search api and that is actually already integrated uh, you remember that in just some parts ago we created a auto suggestion search there so let's say let me just search their uh, mobile so you can find that we are getting data uh, in auto uh, suggestion right there right so we can use same api for product search also right so that is the uh, service name which is search product we will use it and uh, everything will be work fine uh, i'll show you once we will use it and uh, after that we will just get this data in the component and display on the ui right with the ng4 loop and at last i will give you a small task that you can easily uh, i think uh, you can easily do that and if you still have any query uh, regarding that task you can ask in the comment box otherwise i will provide the that content and link in the description box also okay so let's get start with the first point and get the data from query param url so i am just uh, jumping on search component let's click there and uh, i need to import there uh, active activated route right and uh, we have to just create an instant uh, instance of it so let me just use it private active route and uh, that will be the instance of active right so now let's see how we can get uh, our query param through uh, this active route so let me take a const with the name of query now we can use there this dot active route dot snapshot dot params map dot get and our your query param name so my query param name is query now the question is how do i know that uh, i just need to put their query right why don't i need to put their name item data or something so uh, let me show you inside the uh, routing module you can see that once we just define or declare that url we used here query as a parameter name right so if i just put there abc then i must have to just put the name also abc right so that i just put there uh, the name of this query param is query that's why i am just using their query they the both should be same after that let's just use a console.warn and check that we are getting data as a query there or not so let me open the console also let me go to the home page so uh, let's uh, search something let's say toy and whenever the search clicking on the search you can see that we are getting that toy inside our code if i just put there black we can that we can get that black also perfect so now the next thing is we have to use that uh, uh, product service to search the product right so again i need to create a instance of uh, a search service product service also so let me just use their private uh, product this is my instance name and uh, product service is my service name so let's simply use their this dot product dot search product and we can pass their query after that we know that we can subscribe it and uh, subscribe has a callback function 
we can warn it otherwise we don't need to warn actually we will just store this data inside the search result property so let's let me put there search result it could be uh, search result it could be undefined at starting and it could be a type of product and we define that product type in uh, uh, data type right I hope you remember that that is there there is an interface okay now you can see that query parameter will accept the parameter only type of uh, uh, string but there is a chance that maybe query has no data so let's say I just put there search there is no data inside that uh, query param that's why it could be null so we can just make a check of this like uh, query and right and after that inside this what we can do here this dot search result equal to result we have to just get this result as a parameter right and let's, let me put there search and the next thing is let's use this uh, and I think I should use here small s so that we can make it camel case right okay so now let's use uh, this search result inside our uh, mm, HTML page we don't need this extra stuff and now you will find we have only single product there right uh, let me just go to the home back and if I'm just searching something I think uh, this is not refreshed okay let's wait for a while yep so now we have only one so we can just use their ng4 and provide the dynamic data star ng4 and uh, now let's use here let item off um, but the name of our property which is uh, search result and now uh, you will find that we have uh, multiple content again right multiple uh, items again so again I'm just searching there let's say toy we have toy only once so let me search their mobile there should be two mobile and we can see that we have a two product but data is still a uh, static so let me just change the image item dot uh, image after that we can change the name also let me put there uh, item dot name next thing we can change price static to dynamic item dot price uh, next thing is uh, we can change this color also item dot color category so let me just put their item dot category and 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 here we have uh, again a static uh, description so let make it item dot description and now let's check do we have dynamic data perfect okay so let's get back and uh, let me search here uh, let's say black because black color has in many product uh, iPhone you can see that we have black color in all the places so this is working fine search now so let's say I'm just searching something which is not present uh, let's say just uh, black triple one or something so you can see that there is a no data so this is task for you if you don't have any data then how you can show that there is a no data second thing is this footer should always be exist in the bottom of our application so how you can do that how you can achieve that these two functionalities that is your task and thank you so much for watching this video and please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in the comment box